Hello, my name is Esteban Larga Espada and I am the Digital Ads Director here at Online Optimism. A cookie is a piece of information about you that a website loads in order to be able to recognize you throughout your session and in some cases even past your one visit to this one particular website. Now a third party cookie is also on that website, it's also installed by the owner of that site, but it belongs within the servers of you guessed it, a third party. This could be Facebook, this could be any other advertising platform. And what that does is it actually links up your interactions with a variety of different sites. It goes across domains. The first thing that we're going to lose is the ability to track people across different sessions, across different websites, and across different actions throughout the internet. The second thing that we are going to lose with the demise of the third party cookie is the fact that we are going to have a little bit more of a difficulty tracking people's actions from one domain to another. The options to most advertisers as of right now are options that were available before but are really a better option now. One of them is to leverage first party data, that is to say, go ahead and make use of the emails, phone numbers, and other identifiable information of the people that you already consider to be your valuable customers and see if you can match that to other potential customers out there. The other thing that you want to do is tag your site thoroughly. Implement Google Tag Manager's conversion linker, for example. What this means is that you are going to be able to have more clarity as to the sessions that are happening on your site. And you want to be able to do that because to some extent, that's going to be the only data that you have access to with transparency. However, we have been able to find compromises that prepare many of our customers to the upcoming deprecation of third-party cookies.